So what's going on, Toxic Gamers? So while the BBC Samurai situation was calming down because it previously was a raging wildfire, so now we got Black Myth Wukong situation. We covered that in the last video. And we got another one! We got the Star Wars situation and new updates are coming out. This situation is wilder than Johnny Sin's movies, okay? And apparently a lot of these activists and uh, Sweet Baby Inc. and groups like that are really, really mad because they did not add a monkey looking like this in Black Myth Wukong. Like the video if you think they're two genders dislike the video if you think they're 5,000 genders and I want to show you guys what just went down first of all shout out to the homie uh, Dr. Disaster roll it it's time to say the three most satisfying words in the English Wait, language sorry. again kiss my ass whoops those are only the second most satisfying three words let's try it again I told you yep. I told you okay. there we go I told you is there anything more fun to say than that the only thing better than being able to say those three words is being able to say it to a real piece of shit to someone who deserves it and in this case we can say it to ubisoft once again these ch video game layoffs sadly continue with more cuts at ubisoft 2024 has been a brutal year with more than 10,000 video game jobs lost so far damn man that is that's what i'm talking about right and i and i hate seeing that generally speaking like i hate seeing that because you know, these things are always like, hey, gamers are toxic, gamers are toxic, we're working hard on the games and nobody's buying them. It doesn't matter if you're working hard on the games or not. If this is what you want in your games, people are not gonna buy it. Simple as that. People are fed up with it, man. Like, damn, man, people just want a good game. Simple as that. Mostly everybody's waking up right now and people are realizing that the sky is not green. People have stopped buying the idea of the sky is green, okay? It don't work like that. So just make a good game and then guess what? People are gonna buy your game, you're not gonna be laid off, your studio is not gonna get shut down and everybody will be happy, okay? It just comes down to making games for the gamers and not, and not spewing politics. Like the video if you agree. Simple. Simple. Huckleheads are being put in a position where they are forced to lay off employees. And considering that this is happening right on the cusp of the release of Star Wars Outlaws in a couple of weeks, one has to think that maybe, just maybe, those pre-sales numbers for that game aren't very good. And that maybe this company is in dire straits. It's funny, so many jackasses out there supposed that Star Wars Outlaws was going to be a gold mine for Ubisoft. Yeah. This is a mine. It's a tomb. <laughs> okay, he's gonna dance. We gotta, we gotta, let's get to this part. Disaster one. But anyhow, Star Wars Outlaws comes out in just under two weeks, and we are learning that Ubisoft has let go of 45 more employees. Since Holy. the end of 2022, the company has downsized by over 1,000 people. And for a company that employs somewhere in the neighborhood of 20,000, this is a fairly significant chunk. We are looking at around 5% of the people who work at Ubisoft now gone. And it's fair to say that these layoffs were planned ahead of time and that they aren't necessarily a sign of Star Wars Outlaws performing poorly. That's fair to say, but a company yeah. that is laying off a large chunk of their workforce is certainly not one that is doing well. That doesn't sound healthy. And here's Yeah, and especially they fired their marketing department. And I would also beg to differ, right? I would say like this game is definitely harder to market, man. Like it's the, <laughs> it's not the marketing department's fault, man. You suckers just suck at making games, man. What are we talking about? All right now if you if your game was actually good it would have been easier for your marketing department to market the game hell they wouldn't even have to spend too much money i'm, I'm pretty sure they spent a lot of penny on on marketing this game and they are the ones also claiming that hey this is their biggest game biggest marketed game but see the biggest marketing game would always fail if you're going after the modern audience you feel what i'm saying if you're going after everybody like or i should say gamers perhaps yeah your game's gonna succeed like duh like duh like your game's gonna succeed but you're going after the modern audience so there we go here's the thing if pre-orders were as good as ubisoft makes them sound like then i sincerely doubt they would have gone through with the layoffs if star mm. wars outlaws and assassin's creed shadows if those games were doing gangbusters in pre-orders then they wouldn't need to fire people especially not people in the marketing staff which it sounds like that's where a lot of the cuts are coming from as you may remember ubisoft uh, by the way, this is like Tomb Raider gameplay, and this looks very, very good versus whatever crap that is coming out from uh, Ubisoft right now. Recently bragged that Star Wars Outlaws would be enjoying their biggest spend ever on marketing for a single game in the history of the company. So here we are, just a couple weeks removed from the game's release, right when marketing should be ramped up to its highest peak, and they're cutting people from the marketing team? Yeah, That like... sounds to me like maybe Ubisoft isn't very happy with the marketing, doesn't it? It's likely they're not happy because the pre-orders are shit, but in defense of the marketing 
marketing team, I don't know how in the hell someone would promote this game successfully. The Star Wars franchise is dark. Exactly, exactly my point. Like it's not the fault of the marketing team, man. It's not their fault. How are they gonna market this game when it sucks? that bad like damn and this is tomb raider gameplay by the way this game looks amazing too even to this day and this game was amazing but uh, but, but this game like bruh like it's looking worse than a ps3 game damn it holy crap what are we talking about man like uh, of course of course the marketing team was like okay let's uh the game sucks but uh, okay let's find another strategy to market the game how about we fly out youtubers they always fly out youtubers but this time we need to think a little differently. Let's send these suckers, let's send these YouTubers at Disneyland. I kid you not, that's what they did, okay? I, I know it might sound like an exaggeration to uh, some of you out there that might not be aware or this might be your first time hearing this. It might sound like an exaggeration. It's not. So uh, these suckers are at Ubisoft, right? They, they've flown out YouTubers to play the game early, which is good. This is normal. This is normal. This is how it works. Sometimes they invite them out to play the game. Other times they sit there uh, at their home and they're given early codes. Uh, and there's also this live stream feature where they can sit at home and play the game and they would live stream the game for them. It's, uh, uh, yeah, right? Like different times where technology is kind of crazy right now, right? So they generally speaking do that, but they invited out YouTubers and guess what? They send them to Disneyland. <laughs> yeah, right? The reason being the game sucks so bad that I, I suppose they weren't gonna like the game if they if, if Ubisoft just invited them out to play the game only, right? The game couldn't just capture their, their attention. So therefore they were like, okay, we need to up the marketing budget not necessarily to like promote the game or anything like that but we need to send these suckers to disneyland so they fire dopamine so they're in good mood they feel energized so when they play the game <laughs> when they play the game they're feeling good about the game so they make a good review about the game so people buy over game that's what they did it's insane it's crazy and, and i'm looking at this game this game is uh i'm not sure how old this is but easily 10 plus years old and look at that night and day difference man you look at this game versus whatever crap that's going on in star wars night and day difference but uh oh wait for it Fuck shit right now ubisoft's name is in the mud earlier this year they told us to get comfortable not owning their games and gamers have clearly listened we aren't letting that one go and to top it off this star wars game looks awful the graphics and animation are subpar and the main character k vess has a face that would make most people swipe left so fast that it would break speed records and i just don't see how a marketing team is supposed to overcome such challenges everyone <laughs> run the back run the back run the back records and i just this has a face that would make most people swipe left so fast that Damn. it would break speed records and i just don't see how a marketing team is supposed to overcome such challenges everyone can see what shit this company has stepped in with the character designs on star wars outlaws and assassin's creed shadows that is why the ubisoft stock price is still down about 25 percent from last month when they had the shareholder call and this is where we get to say i told you because we did tell them over and over we told these trolls to be fair though a shout out to the marketing team right now because they were creative enough to think of coming out with something coming up with something whether that be sending youtubers to disneyland so they are in a good mood and they feel energized and you know whatever well, before they play the game maybe they send them out after i suppose they sent them out before or it was probably part of it right like hey play the game right now okay go to disneyland come back play the game yeah right i don't know whether they've done it like before or after but but still hilarious and but nonetheless creative idea from the marketing team from ubisoft because they saw like the game sucks right so like we need a different way we need a, we need a different way to market the game we need to hide these suckers up right now we need to hide these suckers up and i guess they tried man they tried. that we just want fun games again we want games that yeah. aren't infected with this woke shit yeah. That is why every trailer that they put out for Star Wars Outlaws got ratio to oblivion because that is the best and pretty much only way that gamers can voice their opinions these days. We tried to tell them to stop, but they refused to listen.
This tweet from Mark Kern, the former team lead of the OG World of Warcraft, it really breaks down the situation really well. He wrote, Ubisoft is laying off people now because they know something you don't. They have the actual pre-order numbers for Star Wars Outlaws and Assassin's Creed Shadows. If things don't turn around on launch day, there will be far deeper cuts. These cuts need to happen, like thinning the herd or removing debris from forests to prevent bigger fires. Ubisoft yeah. is absolutely infected with DEI and excessive bloat in hires. I hope they retain as many productive devs as possible and trim where the trim really needs to happen. Deadweight activists and middle management. And now I'll... And this is what I was saying earlier as well. Wait for it. There's a lot more. You've seen a little bit of the gameplay. Like, look at that and look at this game that's 10 years old, right? It's not an A to A comparison. It's not like apples to apples comparison. But still, like, yeah, because this game is so old. The technology has advanced like crazy. And we look at other games, graphically speaking, gameplay-wise, they're so good. Nowadays, nowadays... You know, not, uh, 8 out of 10 games are looking really, really bad. But you look at something like Black Myth Wukong, right? If that game was being made by Ubisoft, you already know this would be the, the, the main character. This would be the main character. This is how the character would be looking like. They would have butchered the game, game character design. Graphics sucks as well. Uh, holy crap, like, what are we talking? Yeah, look at, watch this, watch this. I'll say, it's impossible to know for sure what the pre-order numbers are for Star Wars Outlaws, but based on this news that they are letting go of more employees, we can make some educated, generic guesses about how they aren't good. And we can all absolutely contribute to Ubisoft's continued financial woes by not pre-ordering any of the <laughs> shit they're putting out <laughs> and not buying any of their garbage at all. What I'm yeah, yeah let, let's be comfortable not buying their games. And guys, I also want to show you this. Shout out to the homie Hypnotic. Wait, wait a second, okay? Wait a second. Check this off. ...is actually hurting just a little bit ahead of their release of Star Wars Outlaws and Assassin's Creed Shadows because constantly what we are seeing is all of these AAA studios are firing people left and right, and they'll try to give you every excuse as to why this is happening. They're going to try to tell you, oh, gamers just aren't buying games anymore. Gee, I wonder why that is. Or they'll try to say, oh, the market's changing, inflation, blah, 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 blah. At the end of the day, man, we know that if you were selling video games that gamers actually wanted instead mm. of what Twitter wants, we all know that you would not be firing people to the extent that you are firing yeah. people right now this, this exactly right like uh, okay let me just cut this is not okay this needs to stop now this is cancer hey 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 whoa 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 hey tranquilo papi tranquilo but this is what i was saying earlier man this is stupid this is sadly pathetic as well and i generally genuinely and generally speaking uh, thank you for subscribing. Appreciate it, gang. Welcome on in. I genuinely don't want to see these devs lose their job. I don't want to see them. You know what I mean, right? I don't want studios to shut down. For example, right, like that that game that came out, right, Saints Row, Saints Row, or Saints Row. Saints Row was one of those games that, of course, it did not reach the heights of Grand Theft Auto, but it was kind of like its competitor. Not really, but it was like an alternative game to Grand Theft Auto. It, it had its core audience it had a very strong audience man very strong fan base and when they said that they're gonna make a new saints row game a lot of people were excited but then they revealed the the intro cinematic cutscene and you know when we saw the characters looking like that right <laughs> you know a lot of people were like ah here we go man it's over and then of but but still there were people that were like maybe it's gonna carry us till gta 6 trailer that game couldn't even carry us till gta 6 teaser guys <laughs> damn and they ultimately had to shut down their studio because when the game came out it was so badly written it was so badly graphically speaking graphically speaking it was just abysmal right gameplay wise sucked character sucked story sucked everything about it just sucked and you want to know what happened at the end unless you're not aware drum roll please apparently they oh i i don't have the right drum roll sound effect here my bad for that but, 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 but you know what i mean right ultimately what happened they had to shut down their studio like damn had it been they didn't let sweet baby ink or you know these activists infiltrate their their studios had it been they just made a good game for the gamers they probably would be around right now they yeah their dev team of uh, i'm not sure how many people were working no matter how many people were working there probably 100 plus right those people would have had jobs. I'm, I'm, I'm certain after the studio shut down, some of them probably got their job, uh, job back in another studio, which is all right, understandable. They probably, yeah, of course, right? Like, ah. but, but still, it, they went through some pain, right? Like shut down the studio, then loss of income, and then finding another place to work at, perhaps in the gaming industry or somewhere else, right? Yeah, it's a, it's a pain in the ass, right? Nobody likes that. 
the and I don't want to see these studios shut down but they are literally shooting themselves not even shooting themselves on the foot they're just shooting themselves all over the place right now it, it's just sadly pathetic and it's different kind of stupid right you suckers are hiring activists that hate gamers that hate your projects a like sweet baby Inc. prime example they get paid to ruin your projects like how pathetic is that right for example let's just put it this way right like uh let's just say you watching this video you're passionate about something in life right you're working a job but on the side you're also passionate about something maybe you love drawing or something like that. yeah let's actually use this as an example you're drawing are you gonna let somebody else uh that has no experience First of all, it's your baby, right? Like, it's your design. It's your design. Are you gonna let somebody, uh, like, uh, take a crayon and, uh, you know, destroy your drawing? No! Are you gonna pay them to do that? No! Unless you're crazy. Yeah, you're gonna let them do that. Unless you're crazy. Absolutely, you're gonna let, but let them do it. But generally speaking, nobody's gonna do that. So why you suckers are this stupid? This is different than stupid. So they're working on a game, they let Sweet Baby Inc. into it, they tell them, hey man, the game's uh, characters need to look like that, you know, we need, we need this man, we need this man, modern audience, modern audience. They cry about that, they add that, and then these game publishers, these gaming devs, they pay them money. And then the game comes out, they lose their fans, the fans don't buy the game, they lose money, and ultimately, sometimes it gets too bad bad it gets this bad to the point where they have to shut down the studio just like how we saw what happened with saint swoop right they shut down the studio and you know what who ha you want to know who has the last laugh sweet baby Inc. guess what they were paid and now they're on to the next one and to the next one to the next one and to the next one they're getting ready to ruin another game and apparently they were extorting they were trying to extort seven million dollars usd that's franklin benji's bro that's benji's that's benjamin's man where my homie at uh in the where my uh, anybody from the us and watching this video i mean i want to know where my us homies at though yeah they were trying to extort usd paper actual paper from from sweet uh from uh black myth wukong devs dev team gamer game science right they were trying to get seven million dollars and ultimately black myth wukong said no <laughs> How hard is that? <laughs> How hard is that? Because had it been they let them in, like Sweet Baby Inc., they would have got seven million dollars, and ultimately the characters in Black Mint Wukong would have been looking like this, bro. <laughs> and ultimately fans would have hated. And guess what? The games wouldn't be selling the way it is. Uh, we're hearing selling right now. Eighty-five thousand people just downloaded the the benchmark over on PC, Steam only, and the game is also gonna be on PS5, and it's getting so much uh, traction right now, gameplay is looking amazing for Black Myth Wukong, everybody's like, all the gamers are talking good stuff about it, and even if somebody was not into the game, they're also now hearing about the game, and they're also potentially gonna buy, you know what I mean, because the competition isn't necessarily stiff right now in the AAA gaming world. Why? Because every AAA game that comes out, it, it, it looks like this, it had characters like this, Crazy ass microtransactions, full of bugs, full of shiza. Star Wars prime example. The game looks so bad, graphically speaking. And this is a triple A game. The the last game Ubisoft made was quadruple A in their own words. So go figure. Go figure why this game, Black Myth Wukong, is now blowing up. Go figure why people want that game over these games that are made for a modern audience. They want to hear that's not a conversation they actually want to partake in they want to be able to blame everybody else and anything else for their problems because it's always someone else's fault right this is the entertainment industry and people are used to failing upwards so we have an article here from that park place with a headline that reads ahead of the star wars outlaws and assassin's creed shadows release ubisoft lays off 45 employees so let's get okay. to this article from that park place but of course before we do if you are new here just consider hitting that subscribe button i would greatly appreciate it and like the video to push us out into that youtube algorithm ubisoft like, laid off approximately like, 45 employees ahead of the release of star wars outlaws and assassin's creed shadows a ubisoft spokesman confirmed to blue Bloomberg that the difficult yet necessary decision was made to align these studios' organizations with their future business and development objectives. The layoffs reportedly hit the company's offices in San Francisco and Cary, North Carolina. Now, I wonder, did they fire any diversity consultants? Nah, definitely not. Highly doubt it. Why would they fire diversity consultants? They need them, right? It's the most important thing to them. There's no fucking way in hell they're ever going to fire the diversity consultant. So I highly doubt that they did. But you know, let's find out. The studio in Cary, North Carolina, and Red Storm Entertainment, which was working on Tom Clancy's The Division Heartland, but was scrapped by Ubisoft in May. The studio was originally founded by Clancy and British Royal Navy Captain Doug Little Johns in 1996 and created Rainbow Six in 1998. It was acquired by Ubisoft in the year 2000. The studio has worked on Ghost Recon, Far Cry, The Division, Rocksmith, and Assassin's Creed Nexus. So they were 
embarked on some pretty big titles over the years, no doubt about it. And it's unfortunate to see them lose their job for some really bullshit reasons. Yeah. But we all know that, it, again, you can deny it all you want. You can try to show for the mainstream industry. That's perfectly fine. But you know, I know, and even the shills know that if they were putting out games that players actually wanted, if they were actually listening to fans instead of calling them racist, sexist, bigots, and misogynists, if they were doing all of that, I guarantee you they would not be firing people right now. I facts, guarantee you they facts. probably would not have even canceled that video game that they canceled. They would probably be, they would probably be in a lot better position. But facts. ultimately, they have made their bed and they're going to lie in it, right? They decided to go with ESG funding. DEI is the way to go, right? They decided to do that. The executives are getting paid handsomely while everybody else is getting fired or taking a pay cut. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Think about this way, right? So if they let Sweet Baby Inc. Uh, infiltrate them, they're going to get paid to ruin your project. Uh, CEOs, uh, they're, they're still going to get paid. Their higher-ups, they're still going to get paid right who's gonna be affected i mean first of all gamers not gonna get a good game gamers uh, 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 uh but ultimately the devs are gonna be they're gonna be let go and in this case i mean even the marketing department is gonna be let go as well right they are the ones that are very very vulnerable to losing their jobs and all that right because everybody else is getting paid though you know what i'm saying like and on top gamers are gonna call your games bad trash and all those words as well because it is the game's not looking good so gamers are gonna call out the way they see it gamers are gonna call out the way they see it absolutely Cut. i don't know why this is the that. uh this is the kind of capitalism that these losers have decided to want to encourage because they all want to be pandered to right it's amazing how the average worker in the AAA industry will be perfectly fine making absolute shit they're perfectly fine with making no money being fired and all that stuff they're perfectly fine with it as long as their ideology is being pushed yeah. that's how well trained right. they are by the mainstream industry these executives have these employees so well trained that all they got to do is say hey we're, we're going to let you go because times are hard right now. But listen, we appreciate you and everything you stood for. And we're going to make sure that your, 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 you know, your belief, your ideology continues on in this company. Thank you so much yeah. for your, for your uh, time. Guys, check out this video on the screen. This recently just happened with Black Myth Wukong. We had new information that just came out. I'm not sure if you guys were able to catch it or not. Check out this video on the screen. On the left, we got new gameplay leaks for GTA 6. And we got some highest gameplay leaks as well. Check out these videos on the screen and I'll see you right there.